and Madonna makes marriage plans. That's in Seven Entertainment. On Seven News Reports. They touch and serve your food, but how clean are their hands? Every hour, at least, employees in restaurants should be washing their hands. See how new technology is making sure employees wash away germs. That's just minutes away on 7 News Report with Kim Kerrigan, Randy Price, Harvey Leonard with weather, and George Smith with sports on the news station. Battle for the White House has made an ordinary truck famous. You know that rider rental truck used to bring ballots to Tallahassee last week? Well, it's for sale on the web. It seems that there were several offers to purchase the truck used in the election 2000 saga. So the company decided to put it up for auction. Yahoo has started the bidding at $17,000, proceeds going to charity. If you're uh, patiently waiting to get a flu shot, your time has finally come. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the nationwide flu shot shortage is just about over. The vaccine will be available everywhere. By mid-December, 75 million people are expected to get vaccinated this year. Scooters are a popular Christmas gift this year, but make sure you read the label first. 90,000 Kent Kick and Mini scooters are being recalled. 7,500 Racer X20 scooters are also being recalled. The manufacturers say the handlebars can easily break on these scooters for a refund or replacement information, log on to our website, whdh.com. Dirty hands can obviously be dangerous when it comes to the restaurant business, so some restaurants are using technology to keep the food safe. In tonight's 7 News Reports, Jeff Tadarian shows you how new technology is washing away germs. There's a lot of running around in the kitchen, so who has time to stop and properly wash their hands? It's a very upbeat business, and, and it's hard for us to slow down. To make sure employees take the time, many restaurants are keeping a close eye on the sink. They're using gadgets with hidden sensors. One gadget is a name tag. When the soap dispenser and sink are not used, they send a signal to your name tag. The tag beeps and lights up until you wash your hands. Another gadget forces an employee to punch in a code and then wave clean hands over the gadget. A report on every employee's hand washing habits is sent to the boss. Some Bay State restaurants are using this device, but don't want the public to know. The director of quality control at Legal Seafoods thought these gadgets went too far. It's very intrusive, I thought. So Legal went with soap dispensers that keep track of the number of hand washes without pinpointing a specific employee. During our inspections, we uh, write down this number and we take a look at it the next month to make sure that their frequency has been kept up. About two months ago, the city of Boston set new codes requiring employees to wash their hands every time they contaminate them. Keep in mind, that can be a couple of times an hour. Workers now also have to wash their hands and arms with soap and water for at least 20 seconds before rinsing. The gadgets actually take an employee through the hand washing steps. A written message or a beep will make sure they scrub for 20 seconds before rinsing. What you think of as 20 seconds may only be five seconds. Get it as hot as you can tolerate. Food safety consultant Lisa Berger showed us the difference 20 seconds can make. Lisa asked our producer to wash her hands. She began to rinse well before 20 seconds was up, and it showed. The orange indicates bacteria. Washing hands is about one-third of this, one-third of the causes of foodborne illness. Is all this beeping, flashing, and code punching going too far? Some restaurant workers say yes. Something like that would be like treating you like a child, I would think, because, I mean, we all know how to wash our hands. Some customers feel better about restaurants who use these gadgets. I guess if I knew uh, a restaurant was doing that, I'd be more inclined to visit it. For now, some restaurant workers will start scrubbing at the beat. Jeff Tadarian, 7 News. It's a favorite New England pastime, whale watching, and right now there's an unusual visitor gracing the North Shore. A humpback whale is swimming in the waters of Salem Harbor. Humpbacks usually head south into warmer weather at this time. Escape before you and your children realize the danger.